Hi, it's Dan again, and we're now looking at the vibration of bars in the acoustics lab here at Kettering University. What I have here is a one meter aluminum bar, and we're going to be testing it with a force hammer, and on the other end, I've placed an accelerometer. Now this tiny little accelerometer can be placed on the very end, the tip. We're going to be looking for axial modes of vibration. Um, I set up my spectrum analyzer to give me the, the spectral content of the transfer function. So if my input is the force hammer uh, tap, the output is the accelerometer excitation uh, or response, then I should be able to find the, the transfer function by looking at the output divided by the input. So here we go. Okay, so I've collected enough data to average here and look at the, the peaks. Now I see that there's one peak at 2560 hertz for this one meter bar and there's another peak at 5120 hertz in other words an integer multiple twice the the lower frequency and I see peaks at those evenly spaced harmonics uh, so that I can see the axial modes that are running longitudinally compressing the bar and expanding the bar those standing mode, those standing waves are uh, harmonic, so they give me preferred modes of vibration that are integer multiples of the fundamental. On the other hand, if I put the accelerometer on the side of the bar, and then I tap, uh, I excite the side of the bar, I excite transverse vibrations, not along the bar, but across it. So I tap here. You may hear a slightly different timbre or tone color with that excitation. And then there I see that I've got peaks at 88 hertz, 240 hertz, there's another one at 768 hertz. These are not evenly spaced and that's because these, uh, these, this harmonic structure is not harmonic, it's, it's uh, inharmonic partials for a tone that's produced by tapping it on the side. So orchestral bells, bells in general, are marked by uh, a series of partials, that is frequency components, that are not harmonically related to the fundamental. But they're definitely uh, of interest. Now I can test this by taking a look at a little, uh, a little magnet. If I attach a, a magnet to one part of the, the bar, say the side of the bar, I can kind of go in and artificially excite just a single frequency by using this, this coil and the permanent magnet. And if I, I, if I drive the coil, say, at uh, 2560 hertz, you get that very high-pitched tone. On the other hand, if I drive this at, say, 768, one of the transverse tones, that is one of the frequency components of the transverse modes of vibration. Of course, to drive the axial mode, the, the 2560, let me type that in again. To really make that go, I put the magnet on the very tip. And there's that tone.